Hey, what's up guys and girls, I am TCSK, thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ultimate guide to farm Gilded and Crusted Anchor in Instant Hunt. Also, the Gilded variants of Anchor, Turtle Armor, and Bubble Bowl. Here are more ultimate guide on farming Gilded item. you can check that out at right top here and down there at the description. It can help you to speed up the process of farming Gilded item. Alright, the first thing you need to know is which one to summon the Instant Mob that have a chance to drop this Gilded item. It is the double O and plus rune to summon the ancient vengeful mariner. Now you can start to farm the item that assigned with this rune. Just farm ray or common item is enough. And there are many items that assigned with this rune. I have filtered it which and where so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now here's the table. This table contains all the information that you need. I have filtered everything for you guys. So just follow this table. All these are recommended items to farm. Those items that are not shown in this table is not recommended to farm okay and you can farm any way you like listed in this table but there is one best mission that drops everything you need it is a shortcut for you so you don't have to run here run there run so many missions to gather all the items you need all right the one and only best mission to farm is at overgrown temple it drops spear mercenary armor you just need these two items then you can go for six point run Farm another bow, trick bow, it also drops in the mission, or any other bow that listed in the table, then you can go for 9 point run. So just farm repeatedly at this mission and get everything you need, then you can start hunt your gilded gears in no time. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. And if you enjoy my content, consider to subscribe and hit the like button. It is free and thank you very much. Alright, so to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shoot with your ranged weapon. If you're unsure, then just select the easiest difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. Then equip armor and artifact that increase movement speed. Melee weapon with prospectors and chairman. It is not necessary to have this. If you have it, it is a bonus. So you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub crossbow. If you don't have hub crossbow, lightning hub or skater crossbow will do. With any of these cost pro, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from merchant, check it out from time to time and restock if you have some emerald. If you see the specific item you want, just buy from them. It will save you a lot of time and don't restock too many times, it will cost you a lot unless you are rich. If you want to get rich and farm easy experience, you can check out my video at right top here and down there at the description. It can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. Alright, once you have everything, equip the best gear you have, then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 points is good enough. If you wish to go with 9 maximum points for even higher chance, yes, you can do that. If you are having trouble to go 9 maximum points, you can check out my video on AFK farm experience. It is a very simple guide and you can earn a lot of level just by standing. The link is set right up here and down there at the description. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability and of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level drop. In the hunt, just look for the purple glowing door to beat the ancient vengeful mariner. This boss is easy, but hard. Be very careful as his QT little minion move very quick and can surround you. So it is better to use weapon with better area damage like spin or cleaving attack so you can wipe them out easier. As for the boss, he can one smash you, <laughs> then you are dead. So it is better to have potion bearer and chairman on your armor. Active it so you can tank his smash. Then active everything you have to finish him. If you still find it hard to kill, don't worry, you can one shot instant kill the boss by using Torment Quiver. Equip an item that can add soul. A soul bow with dynamo enchantment is good enough. Then make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least one stack of dynamo. Active Torment Quiver, then charge shoot to finish the boss. Ta da! And here is your kill the item. Pick it up and to the next door. And every time before you exit the instant hunt, it will refresh the pickling merchant stock. So make sure to equip an armor with Luck of the Sea and Chairman, it will have higher chance to offer you with gilded unique gears. If you see the gilded gears you want, just buy from him, it will save you a lot of time. Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guide can help you to farm gilded encrusted anchor and other gilded gears much faster. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below. You can also hit me up at my discord community, everyone is welcome to join. I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video and before you leave, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, it is free and he will help me a lot and I am very appreciated. So 
happy hunting thanks for watching and see you in the next video